Welcome to eRock3D.com. I'm Eric, and we're going to be discussing the Column Set 1 intro. So let's take a look at it. it the Column Set 1 is for use in Poser, Carrera, and Daz Studio. We're working in Daz Studio today. So let's go to Contents. Figures, EROC, Column 1. Here you will find the columns and parts that are available for this package. Under Poses, EROC, Column 1, you will find the texture sets. These are applied to um, all of the column parts with the exception of the prop. Uh, here we have a prop which is basically a bonus item. It's a little stone pedestal. Here, let's open it up spin it around and take a look at that. This can be used uh, to create um, sculptures on or something like that. Let's go ahead and delete that and keep moving. So under figures, EROC column 1, these are the parts that we have to work with. Uh, there's uh, several different ways of going about using these. Uh, the simplest of course is to use um, the ones that are pre-assembled. These top ones, the A pedestal, column full, column half, and column tall, are just single units. So if we open the pedestal, uh, we can see that it's uh, it's just ready to go. Uh, you can resize it. You can add uh, sculptures to the top. You can use it for uh, put a uh, you know use it for an entry to a driveway kind of thing or or whatever. Um, let's delete that. Column full is a tall is a uh, uh, column here. Let's uh, close this side for a second while we're looking at these. This screen is not conducive to tall columns, but we'll get the idea. There's a column for use, uh, possibly interior kind of stuff. Um, delete that. Here's a half column, good for use on a, a two sides of a archway or a doorway or something like that against a wall. Uh, column tall is just a really tall one that harmonizes with those. Now if you notice the material, let's uh, get out of that and go back to the a little shorter one here. If you notice the material, it's really easy to modify. So let's go into poses, EROC, column one, and we can change the materials immediately. Uh, here we'll click HD column 2. We have a, a new uh, finish on the uh, column. HD column 3, column 4, etc. And you can see that it changes every aspect of it. Even the wood grain, if we click w on some wood here, we see the wood uh, actually follows the grains accurately like it's supposed to. Uh, here's a fun one with some brick, sort of a brick pattern. And then if we want to uh, play with the bump mapping, each of the columns have bump mapping that you can apply. So you would go into surfaces uh, and you can click on column full or click on each part depending on what you're doing and you can just go into the bump and raise uh, lower the negative, raise the positive and that'll change the bump scenarios. Uh, we won't render that right now for lack of time. Uh, however, Let's take a look at some more of the columns. Uh, EROC 3D, column 1. The next set is the Greek AO2, AO3, through AO6. Uh, those are pre-assembled columns. They have functionality that's pretty cool. The second row of columns, let's go ahead and click on, on those. Uh, let's show you what this one looks like. We're going to get out of that. Um, there's AO2. In order to get the flutes to show up in DAS, we go into Surfaces, click on Column Center. This is important. Uh, scroll down to Smoothing and just type in 30. And that really brings those columns in at a nice, nice look. Uh, let's delete that. Here's AO4, a pre-assembled column. Again, we'd go to Surfaces, Column Center, scroll down to 
the smoothing, type in 30, and you're good to go with the flutes. Good look there. Um, here, here's the functionality. While we have this one up, let's go to parameters and let's select the top, uh, top one there. We can go to rotate and rotate that. That can come in handy for various reasons. Uh, we can also bend. You know, right now they're not uh, connected. The bend is not not selected. We'll look at that here in just a second. So you can manipulate these uh, in, in in lots of ways as you can see. So let's uh, straighten this guy up. Uh, let's go down and, and click on bend and show you how to twist the column real quick. We're going to click a bend on, click on the center one, bend on, and the top one. Let's uh, click bend on. And then let's click on the bottom one here and go to rotate. We're going to do Y rotate and let's do 15 for that. It'll give it a little twist and we'll do the same thing for the center column. Y rotate 15 and the next one do the same thing 15. And so what you can see here is, is a twisted column. It looks pretty cool. And you can also go into the poses and change those with the twist and here we make it a um, nice marble column uh, with some color here we can uh, change it into a wood one and it just keeps the twists all the way through so it gives you a good variation of things that you can do uh, so by using the bend option you can it connects these sections so that you can actually twist them twist the column and get a nice look we're going to go out of there and let's go back into our call into our figures columns and um, uh, that's some nice functionality uh, here we have Greek B02, B03, B04 let's click on B04 and what you see is that it doesn't it shows up without a without a base uh, you can lower this and use it, uh, you know, without the base, or by adding, uh, you can just add the Greek base to the bottom of it, and you're set to go. Now you have the option when you use the texture sets, you are actually working with two different characters, so these sets are going to work independently. So let's click on the top set part of that, and click on here's the stone, and then let's say we want to make the pedestal a uh, marble you know you have the option to to do a lot of variation there which is nice um, let's get out of that out of that go back to the figures and uh, we can also build a, a column individually so one of the ways to do that is to just select this Greek base 2 uh, you can come in and grab a01. Uh, let's let's use the ones down here. Greek Greek column bo2. You have to go in order. So this would be the first one you'd use on top of the base. And then if you want to uh, cap it off, you would uh, you would use this uh, this one. Let's see, you're in o2, so you would put the o2 top on. You see that? So let's delete that and we want to make this taller so we we go in order put the next one next one next one and then if we want to that's uh, 05 so if we would use the 05 top on that one let's turn that so we can see it there's the 05 top uh, and we are included with the package as a readme that's very informative have a great day Thank you.